This is the melon I got from my garden, and I'm going to show you how to save the seeds. Thank you for joining me. Please like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell if you want notifications. So this is my melon that I grew. It looks like a Crenshaw, but I thought I'd put in cantaloupe seeds, especially since there is no netting, which is what I was looking for. This is very yellow fruit. And yeah, I think it's a Crenshaw. I must have gotten it mixed up when I put it in the ground. So this is about, um, I think it's 91 days. But the thing is, the top here is very yellow and it looks like it was starting to come off the vine. It smells so fragrant, so it has to be ripe. I looked at the bottom near the blossom end and I'll show you in a second. I'm very happy that the vole that I had did not get to it. And this does have some, if you see on watermelons that there's some scratches, it looks like scars. It usually means that it's ready and it's very sweet. So I'm excited to see what this one's gonna be like. I just cut it off the vine. So I'm gonna just wash it and scrub it the outside and then cut into it. And I'll show you later what it looks like. So just before I started filming, I actually cut into the melon itself that I got from my garden. And I'm going to show you in this video how to save the seeds and prepare it for storage for years to come. Let us begin. You'll notice that I've already started the process and I will do my best to describe the process I used for prior to filming. First things first. While whole, wash and scrub the outside of the melon with a brush or scrubby. I grew this melon on a trellis, but still followed the same steps, as this is a very important one because pathogens can live on the outside of the rind. After washing, I then dried the outside of the melon with some paper towels. Then I got my cutting board for fruits and vegetables and placed it where I want to begin cutting the melon. Then I grabbed a large kitchen knife and cut the melon in half. I then found a spoon from my drawer and then it could be a large spoon or a small spoon, whichever you feel is best for the size of the melon. I dig out the seeds. I put the seeds in a separate jug and then filled the jug with water and spun the seeds and water mixture around with a spoon. When the seeds rose to the top, I then scooped them out and with a spoon, of course, and discarded them with the rinds in a separate bowl. Then after scooping the seeds out, go ahead and put the seeds in a large colander to wash them thoroughly. So this will take uh, at least a couple times, maybe several rinses to make sure you pick out any of the fruit bits or netting out. For me, it took several washes actually. After this step, go ahead and put the seeds on a flat surface with either a clean paper towel or some uh, clean dishcloth on the top of like a pan, for example. And after that, let them dry for at least 48 to 72 hours in a place where the air has good circulation to help them dry quicker. Also, during the drying time, make sure you flip the seeds to the opposite side for proper drying. And then after that, seeds are dry, go ahead and find a container you wish to store them in. Personally, I use a dry old pill container. And then if I have a silica packet laying around, I will go ahead and put that in as well to keep it dry for a longer period of time. And then all you have to do after that is label, and there you have it. You have saved your seeds for next year and for years to come. Thank you for joining me. Please like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell.